Any parent would like to see their child grow up into a well-balanced human being. Throughout their lives, most parents will do everything they can to make sure this happens. I'm Jeff Kawana in the Sugarlands of Mazabuka. Today we meet Daudi and Memory Kamisi who are struggling to take care of their teenage daughter Farida who is suffering from cerebral palsy. Tell me about Farida. Yeah, Jeff Farida was born in uh, 1992 at the Zambia Sugar Company Clinic. When she was born, everything looked normal. I remember my grandmother was there, my mother was there, there was a lot of celebration. When did you find out that Farida was different? Maybe it was uh, when she was around six, seven months old. At that time, she was not able to crawl. She was uh, just sitting, but uh, the, the sitting position was not okay. Till somewhere after nine months, it was just like that. She couldn't crawl. She couldn't sit upright, but they said she was going to be okay. So at one time it compelled me to go to the company doctor. I said, doctor, I have this child. What do you think the problem is? The doctor then told me that no, she will never walk, she will never talk, she will never stand. And the doctor even told me, that, look, you're just wasting your time now. Just continue having more children. This child is nothing that you can do for this child. It was a great change, a challenge in my life. What does it take to raise Farida? She is somebody who I look at her as a baby. That means she has to be with me throughout. Every time I want to move out, I have to make sure somebody is there for her. Mm -hmm. When she is sick, I have to feed her, I have to bath her, doing everything for her. In fact, even at the hospital, they even know that when she's very sick, she's not able to swallow. They have to give her syrups for the babies. It's really hard. And every time I always think, if she was to get sick when I'm away, who is going to take care of her? Tell me about Farida's character. What's her character like? She's a very cheerful young lady, very jovial. She always wants to play. She mixes very well with friends who understand her. But at the same time, she's very sensitive to people who hate her. You know, children like that uh, have that sixth sense, you know. She knows that this one loves me, this one doesn't love me. And each time I see uh, some, someone negative to somebody, I know that there, uh, there's something wrong. So, talking about Farida's character, really, she's a wonderful chief girl, like you've seen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. have other children as well? Yes, I have. What has that experience been like on them? Mm, it's a bad one. In fact, especially for my young boy who is now eight, mm -hmm. because sometimes he even say, ah, Mommy, you mean Farida will never talk? I said she would talk one day. I remember at one time when we sent them to one of the local nursery schools. You know, Yamiko is young. But he started going to school with Farida, who was 13 years at the same nursery school. Farida sometimes, you know, she would draw, meaning saliva would come out. Then one, one teacher used to force her, Yamiko, look at your sister. You remove mucus from her, you know. The boy could do that, but used to break uh, the young man inside, you know. It was not easy for the young man, so it has made him mature very quickly. Sometimes when he's going, because Farida goes to a special school, mm -hmm. then they go to the private school. Mm -hmm. So she was why I said, yeah, mommy. Why can't you take Farida to the private school so that we go with her? I said, no, you can't go with her. Okay. And if Farida also, when she sees the friends are going this side, if she's not going to school, she cries most of the times. Unless she goes and she usually goes first and the friends fall. And the older ones, how are they taking it? 
they take her the same way. And the baby, she's our baby. Mr. and Mrs. Kamisi love their 13-year-old daughter. Though they are unsure of her future, they are doing everything they possibly can to make sure she grows into a well-balanced child. Now let's welcome Dowdy and Memory Kamisi with Farida onto the stage. What? Come. Okay. It's okay. You obviously have a very supportive family. You can see that Farida's brothers and sisters love her. And, you know, so thank you so much for loving your child so openly. Memory, you, well, giving up is not the right word, you know, you, because you, it's very clear that you'd do anything for, for Farida. But Celta would like to rekindle your dream and to give you a chance to go back to school. Um, and so what they've decided to do is to give you an interview for food production, and it's up here. <laughs> you know, her, her brother, I don't know what's his name, he was saying that what he'd like is for Farida mm. to be able to talk. So Celta would also like to give you an assessment for Farida for speech therapy. Farida, look, that's for you. That's where you're going to go. Yay! Yay! That's for Farida. Look, that's where Farida's going to go. Yay! That's where Farida's going to go. Farida, it's okay. It's okay. No, Mummy's happy. Mummy's happy. So, anyway, forget the makeup. Oh, yeah. What I was trying to say is that you can all see that it, it's, it's, it's a, it takes a lot of energy to look after Farida. Although it may be easy to love her, it takes a lot of energy. So, Mr. and Mrs. Kamisa, Celta have something just to relieve you of, 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 you know, because it's absolutely constant. So, you're getting an all expenses paid weekend, just the two of you. So, you can go away and rest and, you know, be together in Livingston at the Natural Mystic Lodge. Okay, everything pays. So, you can go and rest because Celta would like to thank you for being such model parents. You know, both of you just wish all the best for your child. I think I'm going to take a break, so we'll be right back. <laughs>